The Arcturian Group, November 29, 2015 By Marilyn Raffaele Website, onenessofall.com Dear Ones, Again we lovingly seek your attention. Issues on planet Earth have become increasingly more intense in many directions, reflecting perfectly the energy of duality and separation. Many are awakening but many still resist. Let go of fearing that the dark will out, for ascension is a given in spite of all you are seeing and hearing through the media. When tempted to fear, remember that fear is the energetic substance of these manifestations, and more fear only adds energy to the illusion. Choose to limit the time you spend absorbing mainstream news, health ads, and other drivel available 24-7. Stay informed but not enmeshed. All who are ready and choosing to ascend into higher dimensional energy will do so, and those choosing to stay in what they have always known will also do so. Ascension is not a matter of intellectual knowledge but is an attained state of consciousness. There are many who seem to have no interest in spirituality, but who live from a highly evolved state of consciousness attained in previous lifetimes. These seemingly disinterested individuals are moving into new energies as well because they have the qualifications, so to speak. We wish to discuss what the world is calling a disintegration of values, which simply means that many concepts and traditions generally supported as being necessary for happiness or even salvation, have begun to change, disappear, or are being flat out disregarded by many particularly the great number of very evolved souls coming to earth at this time. Individual values based in obsolete concepts still form the basis of many belief systems, and those continuing to hold strict value systems that only allow issues to be seen one way, are experiencing sadness, anger, and even panic in the belief that their true values are disappearing. It is especially difficult when conscientious parents attempt to teach their children values and find that the children do not accept the parents' values. Many of the children being born now, are already evolved well beyond what parents and teachers are trying to force onto them. Obsolete value systems simply do not resonate with anyone who has evolved beyond them. Third-dimensional blindness often makes well-meaning and loving parents or teachers continue in their attempts to instill old energy into a child, believing that the child must embrace them for their own good, often utilizing medication and experts to influence the wayward child to the parent's values. Values are changing, not going away. Like everything else, they are evolving to higher levels. Values reflect states of consciousness and the consciousness that formed them in the first place is evolving and changing, leaving those who do not understand this, to question and experience confusion. Values often reflect the consensus consciousness of a group or country and can thus be very different from one and another. This alone is proof that some values are simply concepts because truth does not vary from country to country. Values originated in earlier times when man needed rules. Over time, many of these rules became distorted from their original purpose when claimed by those in power who discovered that enforcing rules was a good way to keep the masses in subservience, which is still true today. Rules were also incorporated into religious doctrine by churches and declared to be spiritual truth along with the promotion of a heaven or hell awaiting those who might choose to disregard them. To this day, many value systems simply reflect concepts originally utilized for the purpose of having power over others. We are not saying there is no need for rules, for many still need rules. What we are saying is that it is time for you who are spiritually evolved to evaluate your personal values and see if they are holding you in a belief system that is now obsolete, serving only to keep you in what you have evolved beyond. Take an honest look at everything you hold as being right. This will be different for every person, 
as no one has had the same exact experience as creating their values in the first place. Value systems color every experience, causing certain issues to be seen only as black or white and allowing no room for unconditional love. This need not be a difficult process for you are ready. Honestly and with pure intent, look at any issues still causing you to gasp, be shocked, or feel that others are wrong and you are right. Examine then, any personal values you may still hold that is causing these reactions. A current example could be the issue of gay marriage or partnerships which so many consider to be sinful, in spite of the fact that these partnerships are often more loving or on a higher level than many heterosexual partnerships. The so-called spiritual values touted righteously, as a basis for opinions such as this, simply reflect a value system based in spiritual ignorance and religiosity. Many so-called religious values of today are promoted by sincere but as of yet unawakened individuals holding positions of religious or political influence to whom many have willingly handed over their innate power of discernment. The followers then blindly accept what they are told and become disciples of error who attempt to convert everyone else. Every issue of daily living is endowed with value of some sort reflecting the state of consciousness perceiving it. We simply say examine your values and make sure they are yours and not someone else's. Often they are values you were taught or brought with you into this lifetime and which you continue to hold. Some will remain true and valid, but your job is to discern the difference. You are ready. Often it is a fear of rejection by family or group that causes individuals to cling to some outgrown value system, but just as often it is cellular memory still resonating from someone or more past lifetimes, in which it was taught that severe afterlife punishments awaited anyone daring to digress from commonly accepted truths. There comes a time in everyone's evolution where they must take the leap so to speak trusting their intuition and going forward regardless of what the unawakened world may think. As you move into higher and more illumined living, you soon find others who have also made the leap being drawn to you. Living out from a higher state of consciousness does not mean you must not seek help through traditional sources if you are guided to do so, or that you must never welcome assistance from an expert. Always go within first and you will find yourself gently guided in some seemingly ordinary way to the right medical person or expert, one of a higher resonance, more attuned to your state of consciousness. This guidance may come as an intuitive knowing, a name that seems to stand out from the others, a friend or article may point you in a particular direction. Spiritual guidance is always available manifesting in practical and gentle ways you can understand. It is not something accessible only to those deemed worthy as many have and still believe. You are, always have been, and always will be worthy, for it is your own consciousness. The energy of ascension is the energy of oneness. You are the manifestation and expression of one divine consciousness and thus can never be separate from your innate wholeness and completeness. Inner guidance is a facet of your completeness. You can only experience separateness from what you seem to need if you believe you are separate. This is the story of evolution. There are many very evolved souls working on high levels in professions the world sees only third dimensionally. They have chosen to help the world in ways it can relate to, bringing their highly evolved resonance into whatever actions or services they provide. Evolved souls can be found in every profession and aspect of society, even the military, serving to quietly lift the energy of the world through what appears as very ordinary. These people are you. At this point for most of you it is simply a matter of practice, trust, and allowing the process. These actions will serve to gently guide you beyond the limiting values still held by so many in an unawakened society. You are learning to be comfortable with where you are in the process through the realization that everything necessary will and is taking place without your thinking or manipulation. 
Never consider yourself a failure if or when you revert to old values, for the fact that you recognize it means that you have awakened. The old you would not have been aware of these things. There is no such thing as failure, for failure is based in duality and separation. Every failure simply represents another step along the way to remembering, rejoice in each and every failure. Open your eyes. See through appearances. Trust that all answers already exist within and that you need no one and no thing outside of yourselves to find them. We are the Arcturian Group.